when the space shuttle is flying, you can delay the launch of the space shuttle. You cannot delay election day. It's set in statute, it's gonna happen. As we get closer to the election, the biggest challenge is just volume. The number of ballots, the number of registrations, the number of phone calls. It's not a surprise if a, a challenge comes up. If the roster has a different precinct in it, that could ruin everything for the election day. Getting a call regarding the site not being open, uh, no supplies. The uh, electronic equipment is all down. Today has to be done. This is the day. So it needs. if we have to stay here until whenever it gets done, it needs to be done. The election's less than 72 hours away. These guys just volunteered. I always think that volunteering is an important thing that we should be doing. It is 15 hours of work, but I mean, it's worth it. I've never seen people work so hard or work so many hours. For the last five days, we've done 12 hours straight. This is probably my about my eighth or 10th election. Contribute to the society and to the workings of democracy. Elections are, they're super important. They're critical. I mean, that's how government keeps functioning. There's just a lot of things that you cannot let go wrong. There's just not an option to fail. Neil Kelly is the Registrar of Voters. He's in charge of the entire voting operations for Orange County, home to 1.6 million voters. His goal now, to get ready for the 2012 primary elections. The last 60 days of an election cycle, right before election day is your busiest. Um, there's a lot of things happening. For example, we're getting ready to mail regular ballots out to voters. Those people that get them by mail, so we're, we're prepping those to mail. Um, sample ballots we've been working on the last week and a half, and those are those information pieces that every voter gets. Uh, we're recruiting poll workers, we're recruiting polling places, we are recruiting bilingual poll workers, we've started training poll workers, which is happening all over the county. So that operation has, uh, we have about 20 training sites throughout the county. That's, that's day one. <laughs> Robert Gutierrez and Saul Avila are the warehouse leads for the sample ballot mailing operations and are assisting a team of 14 men and women to get out over one and a half million sample ballots. Today is the deadline. Elections are run by time schedules and today has to be done. This is the day. So it needs, if we have to stay here until whenever it gets done, it needs to be done. A problem has occurred with the main printer. These high-end machines are part of the Registrar of Voters initiative to be as cost-effective and time-effective as they possibly can be. But with new technology comes new challenges. Ready. That's my first problem of the morning, so. <laughs> Every election, it seems, you have these pains that you get through. The voters never see it because you solve these problems. But it's tough because, for example, right now with our, our ink jetting equipment, it's brand new equipment, it's new process, and you're gonna have hiccups. If you fail along the way, then you have to make remediation for that. And then that costs money, and that you know gets in the papers, and there's just a lot of things that you cannot let go wrong. During elections, the Registrar of Voters has about 200 employees, but must recruit over 5,000 volunteers to work throughout the county on election day. Pressure is on to recruit and train all these volunteers and find polling places where they will be assigned to work. We are currently in the process of securing all our volunteers, primarily our inspectors. Um, those are the people in charge of running the polling place on election day and getting them all trained and ready for election day is probably the other challenge with that. I think one of the biggest challenges is commitment. It is a long day. Um, election day starts for them at 6 a.m. and can end at 9.30, 10 p.m. Throughout the office, various teams are doing their part to prepare for the influx of voters and volunteers. For this year, I need about 300 uh, bilingual Korean poll workers. In the past, we had about 40% uh, cancellation ratio. So, including cancellation, I need about 450. That's a tough job to do. As of today, I recruited only 180, so about more than 100 to go. The technical crew is working on printing the vote-by-mail ballots. As the election nears, they have been running long hours to get them ready. 
it's everything that we do here is deadline driven. And uh, what we're trying to do is there's something like 600,000 people that are registered to for vote by mail. And uh, uh, I believe uh, today or tomorrow are the drop dates. They, we need a, you know, we, we try to meet this deadline of, of the first day that we can mail them out. We want to put them all in the mail. Our days are, um, are long, to say the least. It's hard, uh, you know, I, I have a uh, wife and two kids at home and I get home at eight o'clock, they're getting to bed at nine, so I see them for maybe about a half an hour and then I see more of my shower. You know, I wake up, take a shower, get to work. I go home, take a shower, go to bed. It's, it's like the twilight zone, man. You guys keep having the same issues? Yeah. Right? Yeah. So what's it doing? This area right here. This is the same thing, the throat from the other one, right? Yeah, it's not. It's, we have a similar problem. Yeah, yeah. What's, what, where's one more at? Tensions rise as the deadline approaches, and one of the technicians is not there to help. Make sure he stays here and get this thing done. If you guys are lunch, he has some time to work on it. So. Right. right. Sorry. Yeah, I call him like twice. What's going on with this one? Oh, uh, he's full open up. So it's the same thing that's happening with that one. Right now, this is killing me because he, look, he's, he, he'll get 10 ballots inserted and then it stops. And the same issue on the other machine, doing the same thing. Every department of the Registrar of Voters has shifted to election mode. The hours grow as the deadline looms. We've been coming out on weekends, um, a lot of phone calls. It just seems as soon as 8 o'clock hits, you are working. It is nonstop from 8 to 5. There is no room for um, error. Precinct specific supplies in the box, if there are mistakes, if the roster has a different precinct in it, that could ruin everything for the election day. The training website has gone live and the phone bank has now been flooded with calls. We were averaging about 50 phone calls a day. Today we've had 175 calls and it's, it's not even close to the end of the day. We've only placed about 1,500 poll workers to polling places and we need about 5,000. So it's going to really increase a lot in the next couple of weeks. It's going to be crazy. <laughs> Back in the warehouse, the technician finally arrives. The one in the buffer and the next, the next one, so the first one that stops. The problem was detected and the machines are back online and running at full capacity. The team has lost some time, but are now on track as the day concludes. You know, the good thing for today was we got all the sample ballots in. That's a huge thing. 1.6 million in the mail, feeling pretty good. <laughs> it, it only took two weeks to get here, but it's, it's a good thing. You know, when you start in elections as, as a manager, you got a luck jar and experience jar and you keep taking from your luck jar every election and all you end up with is experience because that's what it is. I mean, you have to really stay on top of this and, and otherwise it'll get away from you. Three days until the election. Done with the mailers, the warehouse must deliver all the supply boxes to the poll workers. And with only three days before the election, today is the deadline to send out all the supplies to every polling place. Volunteering. So today we're uh, distributing supplies for inspectors. Um, inspectors are the ones in charge of our polling place on election day. Um, we have actually drive-through pickup. So they come in, check in, we scan their poll worker pass, um, and we load their car with their supplies. They get a supply box, a JBC, and some electrical equipment. Currently, uh, as of this morning, we have 72 boxes to go for this location. Uh, originally, this location had 263 boxes. Our goal is to have everyone pick up today. All the boxes that we had left over here that people didn't pick up those first two days got uh, palletized, put on trucks, and they were sent out all over Orange County to all the, all the different sites. So what we're doing here, they're also doing it also in another 11 different places. They're going to close the distribution uh, sites at 3 p.m. today. Hopefully there won't be 80 boxes coming back. Three days and counting until Election Day. 
The Registrar of Voters still has numerous volunteers and coordinators left to recruit and train. It's a primary, so a lot of people don't know a, little, a lot about it. I mean, especially during a general election year, they kind of just focus on that November election, but they forget that there's, you know, that first part of it, the primary, that gets everyone onto the ballot for November. And a lot of people just don't know about it or aren't interested in it or don't think it's as large as, you know, the November, but it's just as important. And so it's been a huge challenge getting people to volunteer um, for this election. So we're kind of still scrambling, still recruiting. Anything's doable. We've managed to do every single election up until now. With the deadline looming, the Registrar of Voters sets up a last-minute resource training session outside headquarters to train new recruits. Well, this is poll worker practice. So um, poll workers that uh, might need assistance, um, extra help, they come here and we've got it broken up into various stations and they can go from station to station um, getting the help that they need so they feel comfortable on election day. A lot of the people are a little nervous. They think it's, it's this big daunting task and uh, what we're trying to do is reassure them that, hey, we've, we've actually thought this through for you and we're setting you guys up to succeed, not to fail. I just had a couple guys that came in here, they're brand new inspectors and they just volunteered today. So they actually got trained today, went through a three hour training class, went and picked up their equipment, then came here, you know, put it into context, the election's less than 72 hours away. The last one right here is your party preference. And your party preference, of course, is right there. Okay. You want to remind the voter, please fill in the white um, section, paying particular attention to the uh, areas in red. This is uh, an opportunity for me to get to know the voting process a little bit better. And, you know, I might just continue doing this um, year after year, you know. It's very interesting. I mean, you meet a lot of different people. You know, we, a lot of people came in our precinct last time that lived in our apartment building and we never saw them before. So I was like, whoa, you know. But it's a lot of fun, like I say, it's very interesting. So we're going to Irvine and going to visit a poll worker class uh, at a church. And this is the last big push, last big push before election day for training of all of these poll workers. Quality sign right there. <laughs> I'm, I'm the Registrar of Voters and I want to thank you first for volunteering with us. So I wanted to maybe get some feedback from you on the training, what you think about it. Have you volunteered before? I think Orange County, I know things have changed, but are friendlier when you become a new um, volunteer. Yeah, turnout right now is about 10% behind what it was two years ago on vote by mail. Yeah, but that's partly because we know who the nominee is now, right? And voting just kind of mm -hmm. collapsed a little bit, but there's still a lot of other things on the ballot, so we want to encourage people to vote. Perfect. Everything tells you what goes in there, all JBC reports. And what is the prompt asking you to do now? Um, print zero tape. Yay, that zero tape that we talked about in the class. It's a lot of work. <laughs> but it's rewarding. We put on the second largest event in California, uh, next to LA County, over any event. I mean, take the Super Bowl, the World Series, all of those things. Elections are the largest single one day event. The vote by mail ballots have started to come back in. Due to the pressures of an on demand society, the technical team is scanning these ballots at a high speed. They must be ready to report by 8 p.m. on election night. All right, so the reason why we use this room to scan the ballots is because uh, it's controlled by, a, by badge access and we keep all the ballots in here so they're secure. On election night at 8.05, you'll see a huge number uh, when we update. And that first number, obviously, there's no polling place that's closed and turning their stuff yet. But that at, at, at 8.05, you'll see a really big number. That's all of your vote by mails. We set the computer up to, to filter certain, certain things. Undervotes, overvotes, write-ins, damaged, blank ballots. A lot of times they say, uh, I mean yes, not no. A lot of times someone writes Mickey Mouse. Oh, and it's funny because people back in the day used to put on our Schwarzenegger and then he actually ran for governor. 3 p.m. at the Registrar of Voters Operations Warehouse. All the boxes were to be distributed, but there is some bad news. 63 have returned. With three days left, this means there could be 63 polling places not ready on election day. Saturday distribution day is over. Uh, what happens, we close down at 3 o'clock at all the sites throughout the county. 
Um, anything that is not picked up by the inspectors, it comes back to our warehouse um, so we can figure out what happened. Uh, it's actually very discouraging to see a truck come off with supply boxes and JVCs from inspectors who said that they would pick up and did not make it for whatever reason. What's missing? I have truck two is in, truck three, Westminster. No, where are they? Okay. So what are we, three, five trucks out still? Okay. I mean, we'll do anything. But we need to for that box. I will deliver up. tonight. I will take them on the way home. I mean, the thing that's frustrating, I'm sure she said it, is that people make a commitment and then when they don't, we have nobody to open the polling place. They understand what we're looking for and the, the importance of what it is and for them to cancel today or not even call back, return our phone calls, it's even more frustrating. So it's hard, it's tough. Elections are, they're super important, they're critical. I mean, that's how government keeps functioning you know, is for elections to take place and people to, to be put into positions of power. And uh, it's, it's such an important role that if one small little thing goes wrong, it explodes. Dispatch here, one. June 5th, election day. It's just before 7 a.m. and voting is about to start, but a polling place is not ready. Neil and Justin Berardino, the department's IT manager, are en route to fix the problem. On 53389, I just asked him to dispatch a Bravo unit and a coordinator. Uh, getting a call regarding the site not being open, uh, no supplies, one person okay. there. It's a urgent. Yeah, that's at 703, was the coordinator called. Um, she's on site, but there's my own inspector. Okay, that should be red. You have voting stop. Copy. It's not red. No, I'm telling you. No, I'm with you. Change it to red for me. Three copy that. Five nine zero one eight. Building is open. Prior to the polls being opened, there are issues that must be resolved before voters begin to arrive. The Registrar of Voters has created a network of field support to address these issues. Paper ballot clerk. Uh -huh. So, in case anybody comes in and asks for a paper ballot, that's your package uh -huh. right there, okay? Yeah. Sure, sir. Are you the inspector? Make sure you also have paper ballots ready to go for voters and get that roster up for me, okay? We'll take care of this. Neil pulls the inspector aside to speak with him about what happened. You know, and if you can't do it in the future, just tell us we can get somebody here for you. No, I just, you know, other than this, like I said, all day on that. Okay, but you see that you see the problem, especially if you have voters that are waiting or stand by. That's not good. I was late because I had to take my kids to school. Well, if you're gonna be late and take your kids to school, tell us. We'll yeah. have somebody else here to help. Yeah. And that's the thing that kills me because the general public thinks it just opens up and happens. You're still dealing with volunteers. Tonight, when you close down, you guys were a great team. So if you all just work together. And, and get everything packaged up like you're supposed to and close quickly, you'll be good. Neil and Justin get the polls open just as the first voter arrives. Polls have to open at seven o'clock. So that's that push from six o'clock to seven, making sure the polls are open. And we have situations just like every place else in life where people get sick or they, you know, uh, decide they don't wanna work or we had one where a poor worker was bit by a dog yesterday and so they don't show up and then you're left to fill those holes. I started this eight years ago and, and right away knew that in, in order to not let this get away from you, you have to be on top of the operation. And I feel I have to be out in the field. I can't operate any other way. And so I go to polls myself. I, I do it every election. I've done 30 and you know whether, whether somebody's watching or not, I'm out there doing it. Unique to the Orange County Registrar of Voters is the rapid deployment teams. 10 elite workers on call throughout the county. They can be to any site in the county within 10 minutes. Their goal, make sure voting does not stop. I gotta listen to the GPS and I gotta listen to the radio at the same time. Just hope I don't get a phone call. We have a lot of firsts, like this RDT thing is a first. Uh, I don't think any other uh, areas in the country are doing it. They told me when I got hired that uh, it's not in my job description is not in your job description. <laughs> the uh, electronic equipment is all down, so we gotta go see what the problem is and fix it.
James detects the problem. A voting booth had connection issues. He's able to fix the machine and get voting started again. We're good here. We got seven out of their eight machines working. The same issue we had at the last place where one was bad. We got another call, so we got to head to the next one. With over 200 employees, the Registrar of Voters is a beehive of activity. The call center is flooded with hundreds of calls throughout the day. Adele and Imelda, who were preparing the supply boxes, had issues until the eve of the election. So it was from 64 boxes to having them all done by 11 o'clock last night. It was a process we worked as a team together. We had one box come back over uh, yesterday because uh, he had a marital issue. So we were up until about 11 o'clock last night making sure they this inspector got the box. So that was the last one. So And this morning, some inspectors came to the polling place. Thank you very much. Is there a replacement for me? I'm like, no. <laughs> In the afternoon, the night crew arrives. This large group is being prepped for all incoming supplies and ballots that will flood the registrar of voters in just a few hours. This is one of those jobs where they all come in at once. You'll get moving oh and you'll go over the The Orange County Sheriff's Department arrives on site to make sure the ballots are safe and secure. Crews work to transform the warehouse into the county's collection center. Well, primary elections are, are very tough because, you know, making the ballot is tough. You have all the different parties. You have confusion over crossover voting, and, and the preparation for it is immense. With that being said, the turnout is, is typically low, but you have to prepare like any other election, and, and there's even added complexities. Amidst all the pressures of the day, the California Secretary of State shows up for a surprise visit. I got a phone call and 15 minutes later she was here. And, you know, Secretary of State Bowen is the chief election official in the state. She's ultimately responsible for all those votes that are being counted. Basically, I'm uh, just taking a look at some extremely random polling places uh, to see how things are going. We actually have a whole mystery shopper program and a checklist. We have people in 38 counties today looking at what's happening in polling places. but. Um, you know, I like to go myself because I will see things that might not occur to somebody who's just working from the checklist. So we received 22,000 vote by mail today ballots. We're caught up with everything with the exception of 10,000 of those 22,000. Okay. Will you wait until 8 o'clock then to start scanning? You know, I, I think, Secretary, on these we're going to end up scanning this tomorrow. Okay. Because I'm at the point now where I can't scan anymore and still be ready for 8 o'clock. Right. This is the Secretary of State, uh, Secretary Bowen. She's nice dropped by for a visit, so I thought I'd introduce nice you. Yeah. I'm uh, mystery shopping today. And... Our goal as elections officials is to have the most boring day possible. We want to be so overprepared that nothing interesting happens. Of course, our other prayer is for wide margins. I don't think there is any operation in this country short of a military operation that involves the same number of people who we have involved on election day and operates with zero tolerance of error mm -hmm. in the same way and comes so close to that goal. It is remarkable and I think we should all be very proud that this is how we show the world what democracy looks like. The California Secretary of State leaves her visit a success. Thanks for keeping us on our toes and secret shopping. And yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Thank right. you so much. Thank yeah. you. The Registrar of Voters has taken the right steps in response to the challenges that occurred. As a result, the day proves to be a success across the county. It's really good bringing my son to vote for the first time and um, let him express his opinion. The experience was definitely really easy, um, a lot easier than I expected. Uh, it was very easy and just came right in, walked out, no long lines, went through, it was good. I think of this as a, a, an honor to be able to participate in the elections. Honestly, I, I, I generally enjoy this job. You get to see all types of people, you know, with their views and, you know, what they, you know, what they think. The experience was very easy, very nice, cast my ballot did my duty. And working in my precinct, I get to see a lot of old friends and neighbors that I normally don't get to see anymore, so it's been fun. I just have faith that everything that they're doing there is correct and there's nothing false going on. 
Um, I like it. It's fun. Um, it is 15 hours of work, but I mean, it's worth it. If they say you want to volunteer, I come back every year. Uh, my parents come from a country where you can't vote. Well, they actually had their first election this year, which is Egypt, and uh, my grandfather came here to political asylum, so I think it's really important for people to vote. I just think voting is the most important thing a citizen can do. I vote every election, regardless of what it is, I vote. I, no one should complain if they're not voting, um, so I vote and complain. <laughs> The polls close at 8 p.m. However, the day's work is not over, as the Registrar of Voters needs to count all the ballots and collect all the supplies. Okay, uh, 72093. Zero. Yeah. various teams will be working until 3 a.m. to ensure all the equipment and ballots are brought back in. The final place where all the ballot information goes is the tally room. The tally team works quickly while everyone awaits results. The results are posted. There is still additional verification in the weeks to come, but the votes have been counted and election day comes to an end. It's a relief. It's like um, birthing a child. You're excited, you get all this joy. Um, when, that, when the last box comes in, the last JBC, seriously, it is just, it was just tears. Um, like it's over, all the hard work. And possibly only 2% of our voters realized of all the hard work we did. You don't realize, you know, what you're doing. It's just, just, a lot of overtime and, and you know a lot of long hours but then when the election day comes and it's over like it feels rewarding and you know what we've worked for. I'd like to say success but it's something in between I think um, we've learned a lot from it um, just different stuff that we'll take away and we'll try to do differently. Working an election is like dealing with a wave you know it starts out slow and then it just, the last four weeks, you know, it just builds, 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 builds. And then you have election day, which is the big scramble with the wave crashing. And after that, you know, we're just uh, certifying and cleaning up the election. You know, compared with, you know, the previous uh, general, uh, primary election, I think it's a successful election. It's, it's rewarding to see all of the work that it takes, you know, to come to election day. And uh, it would be even more rewarding if we could get a, a really good turnout. People don't realize what goes into an election. Maybe this documentary will help them understand that. I don't know. Um, but there's a lot more than what people think and, and see. And yeah, for that person who gets a vote for the first time, for a military person to vote, I mean, that's crazy to me because they're taking bullets for what we're doing, you know, and that's, that's really cool. So the future for us is tweaking and making changes like we've done every election and, and improving and then being ready for November. When you get into elections, you either love it or hate it. People that hate it get out very quickly. Um, I, I love it. I enjoy what I do. <laughs> Sounds sappy, but I don't know how else to say it.